New Walk is a space in the heart of Leicester for people to enjoy. The Friends of New Walk maintain this unique walkway, preserving its heritage, building its future. Right, my name is James Bowie. I'm a trustee of Friends of New Walk, which is the organisation making this film. We like to work with the City Council and look after New Walk, which is a famous pedestrian walkway, uh, originally uh, opened in nearly oh, just over 200 years ago. And I know it very well because my family have lived here for 80 years. And this is our family hotel, the Belmont. And since it's jolly cold out here, perhaps we'll go inside in a minute or two. The route of New Walk follows the old Roman road of the Via Divana. And we can imagine perhaps Roman soldiers walking up and down New Walk. Mind you, that's uh, slightly uh, out, of, out of time. Uh, there are a number of beautiful spots along New Walk, of course, including behind us the Oval. And uh, as you go walk down New Walk, you get to De Moffat Square and then to Museum Square. As a child, I can remember playing on New Walk and playing around the Oval, which has these lovely railings. And we weren't allowed in in those days, it was all firmly locked up. But these days the Oval is open and people can go and enjoy it. And indeed, when we have weddings at the hotel, we use that quite a lot for external photographs of brides and their grooms happily enjoying the sunshine and beautiful New York surroundings. The thing the friends do is to make sure that they liaise with the tree officer of the city and replace trees as they die, because regrettably all the original trees are dying at the same time. Okay. Which is you know, you put them in 200 years ago and they all die in about 200 years' time, which is a shame. But, you know, here's one. There are iron railings all the way up New Walk. Most of them were taken away in the Second World War. They were going to make Spitfires out of them, OK? The trouble was that cast iron Spitfires don't fly. So by the time they'd taken all the railings down, they found out they couldn't make Spitfires out of them because they didn't fly. You had to make it something like aluminium. And about 10 or 15 years ago, with the aid of lottery fund and the local authority money, we persuaded many, many of the occupiers on New York to put up iron railings again. What's this statue over here? That is Robert Hall. Robert Hall was a very famous preacher in the 1820s, he was so famous that people used to come from London to hear him preach. Apart from being a famous preacher, he was also part of the revolution in Leicester politics in the 1830s. New Walk is a living, breathing thoroughfare where the people of Leicester and their visitors find tranquility and beauty. A place where nature, heritage and culture march forward with arms linked, while commerce, conservation and community all thrive. OK, we're sitting in reception of the hotel at the moment. And this is uh, created from a number of buildings that we've knocked together over the years. And behind us is number 118 New Walk, and this site is number 120 New Walk. So we're really between two of the houses. 118 is particularly interesting because it was Ernest Jimson's house, and he and his family lived there in the late 1870s. Uh, and of course, he's very well known for being very much part of the arts and crafts movement in Leicester in that period. I think he had quite a few people visiting who were quite important as well, people like William Morris. And indeed, later on, you'll be going down to the museum and there is a gallery at the museum dedicated to Ernest Jimson's work as a furniture designer, which is really interesting. I'm Sarah Levitt and I'm Head of Arts and Museums. We're standing outside New Walk Museum, which is one of our busiest sites. It attracts about a quarter of a million people a year. 
and it was one of the earliest museums to be established in the country back in 1849. It's got some fantastic things inside, so we're just going to go inside and have a look. Well, we're now inside Newport Museum and we're actually standing in the Ernest Jimson and the Arts and Crafts Movement Gallery. Uh, it's New, it, New Walk Museum is a place full of lots of sound, there's videos, there's interactives, you can probably hear some of it going on in the background because it is a place for families to come and enjoy. Uh, but particularly this gallery is important and I'm glad that we're here because it shows you much more about Ernest Jimson who as we've seen lived on New Walk, he designed a house at the top of New Walk but he was one of the founding fathers of the arts and crafts movement in this country. Later on this year the National Trust will be opening Stonywell Cottage just outside Leicester uh, which is going to be a fabulous place to come and visit as well. There's lots of other things that are very popular in New Walk Museum. We've got a fantastic dinosaur collection, including the Rutland dinosaur, which is a huge proper dinosaur. We've got the German Expressionist art collection. We've got the collection of Picasso's ceramics given by Lord Attenborough. Uh, we've got a lovely art collection. And of course, there's the Egyptian mum mummies that are always really popular. The Friends of New Walk is a voluntary association We've achieved a great deal over the years and have a responsibility to work with partners and stakeholders to ensure this wonderful walk continues to play a vital role in the future of Leicester. Leicester City Council are great supporters of New Walk, providing funding and helping maintain standards. One Sunday morning in late 2015, the council buildings at the lower end of New Walk were demolished. making way for a new piazza and civic centre, an exciting anchor for New Walk and the next chapter in the development of the city of Leicester, offering welcome new activities and opportunities. Please support the Friends of New Walk. Enable us to effectively monitor and influence the future of New Walk, the future of Leicester. New Walk, a foot in the past, striding to the future.